Good morning. Monday morning, new week, week 38. I just did the uranium miners recap from the Australian miners. Go check that one out. Uh, Long-term, fantastic, fantastic price action. And now we will do the Canadian and the US. So there are it's a it's a longer list that I have, so I'll go through them uh, quicker. Um, and we'll be looking at the weekly candles. Sometimes we'll go to the daily just to see some some more detailed price action. But yeah, as always, follow me, Twitter, YouTube, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, if you have a comment, good or bad, doesn't matter, I will happily answer that comment. Um, let's get into the business. First off, I would like to start with this equally weighted ETF that I have done. Um, again, equally weighted have some pros and cons, but um, but yeah, still, this was the main squeeze at that point in time. And ever since the breakout here, retest resumption, it has been a one-way street. So price action long-term here, long-term, uh, very bullish, very, very bullish. We're just getting started here. And the short term, yes, there might be some pulling back and so on, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we are a bit stretched here, but we are in a nice green uptrend right here. And um, so, yeah, every time, in my view, we get down to the lower end of that channel, it's a buying opportunity beautifully. Okay, into the miners, U.UN. Fantastic. I actually think I will go to the monthly on this one. Weekly looked fine, but look at the monthly here. That one right there is a major candle. The past two months has been insane. You can see the big green candles here. And uh, and yeah, this is the, the 30 monthly. And yeah, we are getting a bit stretched off that. But really, I'm not trading per se the, 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 the averages. I'm just having it as a guide. But, uh, but yeah, this is fantastic price action and we are not even overbought at all um uh, well we we are we're getting there but still these two very big green candles beautifully beautifully uh, so yeah um, that's also why i think uh, they were plus to nav last week in according to buying uranium uh, yeah spot uranium uh, i think they're barely plus uh, please correct me in the comments below if that's not correct anyways beautifully long term fantastic Fantastic price action. Blue sky uranium here with a breakout of that blue falling wedge, false breakout where we just needed to, to touch the lower side of that formation. And now we're coming up here, retest, and then we're off to the races for this one. Let's see on the daily where we are right now. Yeah, we're coming in for that big retest of that blue upper wedge trend line right here. So, so far, so good with the false breakout, and then we go. And when this is confirmed, my take is that we go all the way up to this bad boy right there at roughly 0 0.23, give or take. Cameco on a weekly is almost at the all-time highs. Again, this move right here, to me, is, don't, misquote me here, is a blow-off top of this big move here. Again, I think we're going higher, but I think this move that we're getting right here is going into kiss the all-time high, and then we will see a pause. That's my take on it. Uh, so I'm not surprised or anything when it happens, if it happens. But Cameco is insanely strong here. And again, as mentioned, often when you have these squeezes here, this the measured move upon a break is, is very often that high of that triangle that you have. So if you have a move up here and you have some sort of triangle triangle to the downside, yeah, when you get the break, that's often a target to take profit for the traders. Um, and it's, it is the same here. So we, we are very close at around 60 and uh, we are currently at 55. But again, chemical long-term. There's nothing wrong about chemical. Denison Mines here, look at this one here, 2007, long-term squeeze, uh, squeeze, excuse me, trend line. And we are taking out that bad boy. Last week, the 30 weekly is not moving up yet, but it will come. Given this price action right here, it should be turning up very quickly. And yeah, Denison Mines is off to the races, uh, especially when we take out that high here. Then uh, that high right there. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Long-term price action for Denison, 
the blue squeeze here for Can Alaska. Still, you can still see here we haven't broken out yet, but the blue squeeze on an internal, this is the internal price action that we see into that long white support. And uh, yeah, breakout, and ever since it has been an uptrend. Uh, the third weekly is still pulling down a bit here, so we don't have the momentum behind us just yet. It will come. Um, and yeah, obviously, when we break that one here, the long term golden, that's when the fun happens. Looks fantastic. Well, not yet, but it will be soon. Encore Energy. There's a lot of stuff going on right here. That's your main triangle squeeze, as you know. The high is here, and you have an inverted head and shoulders right there. Neckline, the blue one, coming across right here. If I go too fast, I'm sorry, but I have a lot of charts to go through, and I don't want this to be like an hour-long session. This is your neckline here, and now we break. And the target of that move is up here at just below $6. And that's coincide with the high of that triangle at roughly $6. So I, my take is that we are going to go up here one way or the other. Um, and we are currently at 4.2 and it will go to six in the short term. Long term, it will break this formation as well. But we will look at that when we get there. So EU, I added on this here actually, on that break here last week. I had a actually had a decent position, but uh, I had to add on that break. This is FCU fission uranium. We don't want to look at the longer terms. When I look at this one right here, high, high, high. I'm not saying high, but that's the high of that, of that golden trend line here. Big volume, oops, big volume coming in last week. What the. There it is, big volume coming in, as you can see right there. We did pop back above. Let's go to the daily to see what's happening. Basically, what is happening is that we're hopefully staying above for the retest here and we go higher today. That's the ideal. Um, I don't want to get too far below, but still, I think long term it doesn't really matter. But I would like to have a clean, you know, breakout retest and then go. That's always the most bullish side of it. We don't want it to go back in and then dip below and then go, but uh, we want it to break. Like a clean cut here with the with the often anticipated retest. Uh, again, this was the internal squeeze that we looked at here. We have pointed it out. Ever since we took that one out, we went all the way up to that golden trend line. Obviously, with some breakout uh, peak above here, but that was the trade that one could have made there if they wanted to. But I'm in it for the long term, and long term, in my view, higher across the board. We just need to. Gain the last a bit of momentum here to break out of this formation. We have, we have our three low lows, and uh, we are in a bull flag. So the we point this one points to higher prices, that's for sure. Weekly find base load. That's the main squeeze that I have been looking at. Uh, we have the breakout, and now we're retesting into a stage two breakout on the weekly volume coming in on that retest right here. Let me just make it bigger. Volume is coming in like. Mm, that's four to five X breakout retesting the third weekly and the, the minor blue breakout triangle here. I added to this, this one as well. Last week I had, a, I did take some profit from UEC, not because that I don't believe that it won't go higher, but it was a very big port, uh, part of my portfolio in my Iranian portfolio. So I had to trim it and then I bought three others. This is one of them and I bought it last week. Um, I think roughly around here. I didn't, I didn't quite catch the the, the full perfect here, so I bought it here on Wednesday. Uh, I think late Wednesday I bought this one here, uh, or added to it. And uh, to me, this is a clear stage two breakout, getting above the squeeze, the and uh, back into testing the thirty weekly, and hopefully we take out that high there to get the confirmation. But long term. It looks very good. Again, it's a bit of a lag here compared to the others. I will give you that, but this could be the start of something big for base load. Forces metals. You can still see here we haven't taken out the big one, the big golden that's coming up. It will, in my view, take that one out. But from a smaller time frame perspective, like two years, we have taken out that one here, which is a part of this bull flag here. And we have our three lower lows beautifully, and that low is into a very big long-term horizontal support and resistance level at 0 0.33, give or take. And ever since we did make that third lower low, 
we pop big time here, like 100%. Uh, and we are back above. And uh, yeah, that's the start, in my view, taking out that bull flag. We're going into this one here. Maybe pause a bit, and then we break higher for forces metals. FUU, big level at 0 0.5. Big, big level at 0 0.5. Uh, neckline here, the blue one, we have taken out, as you know, with a very bullish consolidation, retest, and resumption out of this bull flag right here. Again, smaller time frame, lower lows, beautifully. That's what we want to see in bullish consolidation and breakout. And to me, this at 0 0.5, that's when this thing goes bonkers once again. Uh, there's no resistance above. Yes, we have the high here, but yeah, there's nothing much up there. That's just the IPO. And uh, yeah, no resistance. You can see here, no resistance above 0 0.5. Measured move for the inverted head and shoulders in my view, 0 0.3. We are at 0 0.44. Excuse me, 3.3, and we are at 0 0.4. So 8x or so still to come if this plays out, if and when we break that 0 0.5 major long-term support and resistance level. Global Atomic, very strong. I'll go to the daily on this one. Very strong price action here. Um, this is, you know, one low here. Again, very rarely do you see like a V-shape here. It can happen. I, I know it can happen. And I, I think right now we are into resistance. Resistance, there it is, at around 2.4, 2.35. And I think we will get the needed pullback right now. You can see here as well, but we have the uptrend channel right here drawn very quickly. I suspect we will break it. Now we have the high to look for, in my view, um, and then hopefully we'll get some sort of bullish setup here, and then you can enter. And if we were to go all the way to the downside for a major, major double bottom, then you have your zone here between 0 0.3 and, oh, excuse me, 1.3 and 1.4. That would be a golden opportunity if we were to go all the way down there. Um, so again, have your scenarios locked in. And if that happens, you do this or you do that. Um, again, I would be very surprised if this just clean cuts this in one one big go here. Um, I would be very surprised. But this is a very good start, a very good bounce here up like uh, almost 100% from the lows here. Um, so yeah, 100% in like a few, like a month. That's not too bad. Govix is getting ready or trying to. The false breakdown from that wedge here. And you know what happens when we have a false breakdown? And if we get a price action like this, that's your buy. We have, we have two or three charts that looks like this in the rain space. And that will be a beautiful entry uh, if we get that. The volume is coming in. We still need to take out this golden upper here and the 30 weekly, obviously. But when we do, if we do, that's when you should be paying attention to a possible entry if you want to do that. ISO energy, ISO, ISO, ISO. Look at this one here. Again, the price action is beautifully bull flag here. Breakout, retest first, second, third, lower low in that bigger, oops, excuse me for the mess here, in that bigger bull flag, which is right here that beautifully beautifully and we have the breakout and we are resuming up again every dip on the daily in my view should be bought again how you do it you can have different techniques you can buy a bull flag breakout on the smaller time frames or uh, a fibonacci extension uh, excuse me a retracement level and so on but in my view again do your own due diligence as always but this long term there's nothing wrong with this chart again the 30 weekly is starting to curl up again after one year, two years long time, bullish consolidation, just breaking out. Look at the monthly. That is insanely bullish long term. No denying that at all. Cap here. Cap, cap, cap. There it is. Very quickly here. One way street ever since we broke out. The 30 week is coming up. We are above the previous highs. We have a high here, yes, but the two major highs here are taking out. Again, dips should be bought long term. Fantastic. Fantastico. Similar to Laramid Resources, we have the triangle. Yeah, it sounds like a broken record, but 
a lot of the charts are, are quite similarly. Oh, excuse me, a nose is itching. It's quite similar. And we had on the daily, look at this one here again, beautifully breakout, retest of the upper trend line of that flag. Again, looks fantastic here. This is just the start in my view. LEU looks quite different, but still we are above this. Oh, there it is, beautifully. This is, this is not a, a trend line or a, but this is like a zone, right? Where we have support and resistance. You can see it there, there, depending on how fast it went. And now we are above, very, very strong. One warning still, still one warning. We are in this bearish pennant here, uh, a bearish wedge to the upside. Uh, what what we want to see is this one to shoot up here and negate it. Uh, and then this one will act as support all the way, or we just get some sort of sideways action here in a bull flag and then go, that's beautifully. What we don't want to see is like a quick shape like this, getting below the wedge, below the support and below the, the moving averages. Um, that would be insanely bearish. But for now, very good with some caution to it. I will hurry up here. MAGA, you know the previous history. Look at this one just here. That's the entry late 2020. Stunning price action ever since. In a bullish consolidation right here. There it is. And we're breaking out. Again, we are going to 0 0.41 in the first go here. And then when we take that one out, let me zoom out just to show you. When we take out that big level out, pivot low here, pivot low here, you know, you can see the, the touches all the way. So look for 0 0.41 on your chart for mega uranium. Then we have some high price targets that's being triggered when it happens. Just saying, looks fantastic. Uh, next gen energy at all time highs. I don't know. It's just, again, I'm uh, short term. I think we could be in for some, some pause here, but again, long term. Again, you, if you just look at the monthly here, maybe we have like one month of uh, next month, maybe we have one, one month of just sideways action and then we go. But we are at a, over all time highs, no resistance, no nothing, uh, no previous price levels to look for. There are ways to to do this. On a different way, but anyways, you can see it here. Very, very strong price action volume coming in. 30 weekly will now start to curl up again. Stunning, stunning chart for NXE. New scale is a big lag here uh, for reason I don't know. I think it's because they need a lot of money for the next years or two. I don't know. Uh, but all I'm looking for is this one here. That's the channel that I'm looking at, and I want to break above. It it is that simple. So a break above, and then some sort of movement. But until then, it's very bearish. Overall, nothing positive for that chart at all. What is positive, however, is I want to go short term first here. Is Sky Harbor? I bought this one last week as well. So now you know I bought three ones, and now we have heard them all. Uh, all three were from profits from the UEC. Again, UEC is going higher but it was a very big percentage of my portfolio. And yeah, maybe it was good, maybe it was bad, but anyways, that was the plan. I did it, I executed that. So yeah, anyways, Skyhopper, breakout of that left shoulder, excuse me, right shoulder, strong price action, zooming out here. Long-term, bit of a complex inverted head and shoulders. That's your head with a double bottom. And when we break roughly 0 0.7 on Sky Harbor, you will have the big one, the big move up you will have at that point in time. It's all in the making, looks fantastic. Let's go. All right, and here it is, UEZ, UEZ. Again, long-term, uh, there's a lot of drawings here. Long-term, it doesn't really matter. You know, this was the break and we are just getting started. The reason why I sold, one of them was also very extended on the daily. Um, so yeah, we came in and hit my the upper here. I have this um, upsloping parallel channel here extended. Uh, again, I think we could go for some retesting, but again, long term it doesn't matter. Uh, UEC looks fantastically bullish, and uh, and yeah, um, we are going to kiss that uh, all time high um, within the next month or so. 
at uh, just below 10. And we are currently at five, give or take. So yeah, fantastic chart, UEC. It is also one of the only, I think the one of the bigger and only miners that uh, are actually producing in the US. And it, it has a very big market cap compared all in relative uh, in the uranium space. So the bigger guys can buy UEC. They cannot buy Sky Harbor or Find or whatever because it's only like a, let's say, $100 million market cap. They cannot buy that because it will move the price too much. They will buy Cameco. They will buy Cassatum uh, Prom, UEC, and, and a few others. That's it. That's all that they can buy for now. Um, so, yeah. Stunningly here, we have taken out this, this is URG, by the way. We have taken out the shoulder high of that negative or bearish formation here at 0, 1.5. It's taken out, negating the head and shoulders top here and should be pointing to a lot higher prices. Again, very stretched compared to the moving averages. We might need some rest and so on. Strong move here, but again, long term. It looks really, really good in my view. Again, we have a triangle that was broken here. There, late 2020. And that high is up here somewhere at around 3, 3.5. And I think that's where we're going. That is where we're going, actually. You, Roy. You, Roy. Nothing much to add. Clean cut breakout. There it is. Like the others, fantastic long-term price action on the weekly. Long-term trend is up on the weekly, monthly, and you want to buy on the daily consolidations. Quite simple. This is Kraken Energy, a small one here. Uh, trying to to get that breakout of this of this flag right here and above the 30 weekly. Not quite there yet. Um, so, yeah, want to follow. UEC, uh, excuse me, UUU, Energy Fuels, long-term, one of the best setups that there is, in my view, long term. I mean, long, long term, years out. Big inverted head and shoulders, all there it is. Now carving out the right shoulder. If I can zoom in here, for some reason it will not zoom. This was the early break. Um, and ever since, you know, last week we are up, I don't know, 10% or so, even more. Let's do the measured move or the, measure, or the, or the, the gains last week. 14% last week, stunningly. And um, yeah, again, long-term, fantastic, fantastic. Again, there. that's why. When and if, I think we will, but when we take out, let's call it 11.3, again, in that zone, it will trigger a big measured move, in my view, it sounds insane, somewhere up here. That's how I see it. Uh, I, I don't quite believe it when I say it because it's a 10x from here. And that will give uh, you, you, you a market cap uh, up to $13 billion. Again, in the overall scheme, you know, stock market, that's peanuts. But uh, but yeah, again, if this happens, getting up to here, I mean, that would be tremendous, tremendous gains uh, to come. Again, not tomorrow, not next week, but in four years' time three, four years, five years time. Again, that's my absolute maximum target for this beautiful stock here. Again, Energy Fuels is also a producer, so they they don't need cash as much as the others, I think. Again, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but the chart, beautifully. Yellow cake. In an uptrend, again, we, we don't have that much data, but we're in a big uptrend here, and I assume that we're above the all-time highs. We did it last week. Uh, two weeks ago, and we're going to kiss this one here at some point in time at roughly 800. 750, 800, that's where we will have a big pause. Again, the long-term trend is up. Nothing much to say for yellow cake. Looks fantastic. What else do we need to look at? I think that was all. A long video. Again, long-term, it just looks absolutely stunning. Again, short-term, I'm warning for a pullback. Again, it's not a warning, but that, that pullback that we will get maybe over like a month, eight weeks, two weeks, you know, it's quite hard to say, but we will have a pullback very soon. As you can see here, yellow cake. Back in the previous bull market, you had a lot of bigger pullbacks on the way up. And if we are here now, let's say this is here, then we will get a pullback to some degree and then we will go. Um, nothing goes in a straight line. So I'm trying to be as objective as possible. 
and the pullback should be bought in my view. But again, it's early. You can see that was the squeeze, so it's still early. So pullbacks on the way again. Buy them in my view again. Do your own due diligence as always. I hope you liked it. Give me that subscription, and I have nothing more to say other than have a great day.